We're at budget and apparently they have two locations at the same address. So they told us we're at the wrong place. Check our address, it's the right place. They said there is a cruise ship passenger store and a local customer store. And they'll honor the rate, but anyway, it's like up to a two hour wait. And we got here 45 minutes ahead of our reservation time. So I'm really glad we got out as early as we did because it looks like things are getting busier by the moment. And I think we got queued up ahead of all of them. Our um, reservation time was nine o'clock and it's around 8.45 now. Things are getting wilder. Okay, they called me up to the counter and said, would you accept a Chevy Malibu? It's a smaller car than what I reserved, but it took $50 off of our price and the car is ready now. So of course we said yes. I just asked her, are you sure our luggage will fit? And she said, no problem. So let's see. All right, car has a full tank of gas and it looks really nice in here. John's loading the trunk with our luggage really quick and then we're gonna be on the road. We're staying at an Embassy Suites in Boca Raton tonight and then driving the rest of the way to Fort Lauderdale Airport actually tomorrow morning where we'll drop this car off and then from how I mapped it, it looks like the uh, port is not far from the airport. So we will return the car and just for a lift. It's only like a two or three hour drive to Boca Raton. We'll be there around one o'clock and we'll hopefully have early check-in. Since I'm a Diamond member at Hilton, I believe we have free parking. Should be a really nice day. And ultimately we had a one hour wait between our reservation time and when we got a car. And we did wait two hours total, but we were an hour early for our reservation. And I'll show you how many people are lined up out here still waiting. And this doesn't count all the people that have left for food. This is just the parking lot of people. Um, and inside the building is super full too. John's getting cords so that we can charge while we're driving. You know, here's the deal about renting a car on a day when thousands and thousands and thousands of people are getting off of a cruise ship. All the people that are leaving on those same cruise ships today are the ones bringing in the cars that they are promising to the customers getting off. And naturally, by the way that you disembark a ship, all of the people that are leaving the ship arrive before the cars for the people getting on the ship. So in my opinion, the way budget should process these reservations is by letting people reserve and telling them that pickup begins at 10 a.m. That way they actually have some inventory before people are tapping their feet. And in a situation like this, you don't need to go to the front desk and sideline the other people in line so that you can tap the customer service person on the shoulder and see if there's any way you as a special individual can get out of there before the rest of people. I mean, there were a few people doing that and very rude to the staff. It doesn't help. Anyway, we'll see you in Boca Raton. We stopped at Starbucks. John's running in to pick up the order we just placed. We're getting a couple of Americanos. Can you believe it is $4.50 for a venti uh, drip coffee with an added shot? Um, it looks like we're about two hours from our well, two and a half hours from our destination and this hotel the embassy suites they always have these giant like interior courtyard areas which are beautiful but this one specifically looks just very grand and i'm really excited they have an outdoor pool we made sure that what we packed in our um, little sailing bags those things is an outfit for embarkation tomorrow and our swimsuits. That's pretty much it. Everything else is jam packed into our suitcases for unpacking when we get onto the Sky Princess tomorrow. And in case I haven't told you our game plan, we will be boarding the Sky Princess tomorrow for one week where we're visiting Princess K, St. Thomas, St. Martin, and I can't remember if there's another port but I'm looking so forward to it for a lot of reasons. John's birthday was on the first of this month. So I, for the first time ever, 
booked the ultimate dining on your balcony package because we originally booked an interior room and then we did the princess upgrade and won the balcony upgrade this is a deluxe obstructed balcony and we each paid i think 130 dollars to get into that better room no 135 so they emailed me saying that it was an option to bid on an upgrade starting at 130 so I went in and put in my bid at 130 each and John very wisely said, you know, you probably should add a few dollars each to what you bid because you then just edge out the competition. So I made it 135 instead of 130 each and we won it. Really smart thinking on his part. Anyway, here he comes with coffee. Nice. Thank you. Thank very you. Hot coffee. Very hot coffee. Thank you. Um no there's no button for that he's trying to open the trunk he got ice to put in the coffee so we can drink it anyway yeah i'm very excited so we have a balcony and maybe not a perfect view but it will be really cool to have that dinner on the balcony and show you what it's like and from my understanding they have a waiter serve you they'll do like a pre-dinner cocktail with appetizers and then you have champagne and surf and turf and it just looks like a really cool awesome experience and that is a gift I'm doing for his birthday other than that we're on a wait list for the excursion I want to do which is a sunset cruise on a catamaran and we booked a clamshell for Princess K when we get on the Royal Caribbean cruise I've got to talk to you guys about the last time I was at Coco K before they made it perfect day at Coco K and the price difference between what I paid for a spot on the beach and what they are charging for that same exact spot on the beach today. It's been about four years and the price is unbelievably different. Okay, now we're ready to go. So we have coffee. What'd you have to get? Cable. Oh. This car connected to our um, phone and now knows what we're doing. Really cool. See you on Boca Raton. We are in well, basically in Boca Raton now, we stopped at a Target about four miles from the hotel. It's only 1.30 and our room's not ready yet. So we're gonna show up and hope they give us a room, but we needed to stop and get a couple things like a little Tide stick and John bought me a hat for the beach because I have one at home that I meant to bring and forgot. And when we were at the last beach day, actually last two beach days, it would have been really good to have, even though I hate hats, I would have appreciated having one for sun protection. So anyway, we got a couple other necessities and a snack for tonight, some cheese and meat for us to have. So I went and got the car while he checks out and I'm waiting for him. And then we'll show you what happens when we get to the hotel. I think this hotel has a really cool outdoor pool, so most likely what we're going to do today is get to our room and head to the pool. So we'll see you there. We made it to Boca Raton. It's before two o'clock and check-in is not supposed to be until four but like I saw them turning someone away next to me, selling them that you can't even do early check-in until two. But one of the perks of my status level with them is I think you can pretty much show up whenever and as long as the room's ready, they'll give it to you. So we're two doors down from where I originally picked, but I think our balcony is larger and the view is a little bit better. Here is what we picked up for a lunch snack type thing. And then one thing that has changed with Embassy Suites since the last time I stayed with them is that their evening reception is a ticketed event. I remember you would go to the bar and you show them your room key and they would give you two drinks at a time if you wanted, or at least when they were really busy, they would because they just wanted to keep the line moving. But this way they know since we have two people in the room, we each get two drinks and then they gave us two complimentary breakfast tickets. If you lose your voucher, you have to pay $10 plus tax for it to be replaced. We're heading down to the pool and we'll show you what it looks like. It's outdoor. And since we're still an hour or two away from um, normal check-in, we're hoping it won't be that busy. You can see the hat John got me back there, but I'm not gonna wear that until we get to a beach. Anyway, we'll go see the pool.
I don't I think it's just out here on the left. Oh. I mean, it's been a few years, but I had their calamari before. It's really good. And it's actually calamari, not sticks. Yes, a redo because it can't handle that I am bad at filming it. Let's see if it says anything about towels. where the towels are supposed to be. Front desk. They're available at the front desk. I'm gonna go get two. John found us some seats over there. Entry thing is ridiculous. Swipe card, wait for red and green to flash twice, then pull the door handle twice. It is an obstacle course just to get in. Twice to pull the door handle twice to enter. Yeah, and it has to actually flash like four well, times. Keep the jocks up. Well, it's about 5, 10, sun's starting to go down and we went to the pool and hot tub, showered and we're getting ready to go down to the evening reception and I saw that I had a message from Tyler Bryce and I'm so sad. He says that he doesn't think he's actually going to be on the ship. They're like switching his schedule around. He had sent me that message on Sunday, but I was on another ship and I didn't use the internet very much. So I just saw it and re and then I looked at the medallion, the planner, where I had already put us on the schedule to be at all of his shows. And they have changed the titles of those shows to rock opera and vocal performers that not him. What a disappointment. Maybe another day we can meet up with him on board, but boo. That sucks. I know, and John hasn't seen his show before, so I was really looking forward for him to see that. I will show you downstairs what the evening reception looks like, and then um, I think we're gonna watch a movie and go to sleep early tonight because uh, we wanna leave the hotel like right after breakfast to get to Fort Lauderdale Airport, drop off our car, and go to the ship. Looks like the reception is starting. So the snacks, we have pretzels, chips and salsa, some tropical trail mix, and then Apple has the like plant 
like weird veggie chips in it. And John got rum and diet. I got white wine. And we're probably gonna end up going across the way to the dinner area. These are the weird chips. I can't remember what they're called. Terra chips. Exotic Terra chips. They're good. But, hmm. I like the emphasis on the appropriate utensils, not just utensils. So we ordered the calamari, and she warned us before placing it that it's not fried, it's like grilled and it has this awesome sauce that looks really good. Here is the French dip sandwich with salad. We're gonna split. Good morning, it is cruise day, and I think it's just before 8 a.m. What time is it? 8.07. 8 um, we were aiming to be on the road by 7.30, but then we talked about it, and since we didn't get the rental car until 10, I think that means our day of rental ends at 10. So we're about 40 minutes away, and we we're still way ahead of schedule. We're gonna run downstairs and use their stapler to put our luggage tags on, run to the car, load it, and then come back in for a quick breakfast. Sometimes they have to-go bags, but our drop-off for the car is at the Fort Lauderdale airport, and then we're gonna catch a lift, which based on trying to pre-book it last night, it will be around $22 to go four miles. So if you're booking a rental car, be sure that you book it for drop-off at the cruise port, not the airport. I don't know what I was thinking. Anyway, we'll see you as we get toward the Sky Princess this morning. Well, we're 11 minutes later and just got back to our hotel because as we're driving right on time, I might add, um, I mentioned to John, thank you for getting our medallion bands so that we can just wear them on our wrists. And that's when he realizes his is no longer on his wrist. It lasted on him for ever since 7.30, so a half hour. It fell off in the back of the car when he was putting the luggage in, which we didn't know until we got all the way back to the hotel. He ran in to go up to the room and look for it, and I checked the trunk and back seat and found it. So anyway, we're still on time-ish. We're probably gonna be like a few minutes late for my initial pickup. But anyway, if he hurries on out, we will be on the road. And um, this is what happens when you, well, I don't know what to blame, but usually it's caffeine. And he kind of has a tradition of an injury or something severe happening on embarkation day and disembarkation day. So let's hope this is the thing for today because we are not trying to have anything go wrong before my next princess cruise and his first princess cruise. Okay, and we're going without coffee because we're not driving far enough to justify Starbucks. And then we have too much luggage and we don't know if the port has a princess lounge. So life is really hard with first world problems, but I think we'll get through. Well, we're in the airport now. There's a Starbucks down there. I hope John doesn't spot it. Pulled in, they basically hustled us out of the car and now we aren't sure where to get a lift. So John went to ask someone, I think, um, but it's only 9.15. And I think our check-in time for the cruise is 11. So we're four, have an hour and 45 minutes to get four miles. Where do we go? There's good news. We go down, over to terminal one, then down again, and there's a pickup. Pick and that's where, for... that's where Lyft and Uber and everything. Oh, okay. Does their thing. I thought you were gonna say there's good news. We go down and there's Starbucks. That's the other good news. <laughs> oh, we ended up at Starbucks. But we're gonna share a grande and each have a breakfast sandwich because I don't really know whether they have an elite lounge at this terminal. We got an emergency update to our boarding information saying that we were switching from terminal one or five to 21. So we'll see, it may not even be Princess's normal embarkation port. So we don't wanna arrive hungry. Well, sail away isn't until four, but they start letting people on at 11-ish. Oh, okay. We found the Elite Lounge. And we've got coffee, pastries. We are here, I think they're gonna start boarding at 11, so we're about 30 minutes ahead of any embarkation, and we're in group one, so we'll see you on board.